ولا دنيا تي ها ولا دنيا We are next to the Zaria of Maulaya Sidi Mohammed Al Shah, which faces the Senegal River. And what you hear is the lapping of the river water which surrounds the peninsula that is Medina Shah. After the morning call of the museum, Sayyidi Muhammad al Shah and his disciples prepared to perform the soup prayer. <laughs> Immediately after the prayer of soup, Sayyidi Muhammad al Shah, the man in the green turban that we see on the screen, which covers his head and bust, leads the wazifa session. <laughs> Shah 
طريقة تجارية سكري في نينا خمني خمول من بوليوغن كوخم نينا خمني فاتي ود من يوكو يفاتي لكوكو نينا خمني جوتي لكوكو وان خمني يوخم بطبارك الله After this morning wazifa session, Sayyidi Muhammad al-Shah reminds his disciples that the Tariha Tijani is governed by rules of conduct promulgated by Mawlaya Shah Ahmad Tijani himself. It is essential, he says, for the aspirant to be aware of these conditions before asking for authorization on zikr. The conditions of the world include a set of regular provisions which concern the statue of the aspiring person and the muhada, even before the affiliation to the world. Conditions related to the practice of zikr, rules of conduct to which the member must confirm. These latter must be scrupulously respected so that the flower can remain in this way of salvation that is the Tarihatijaniya. Hence, first, before taking the word, the disciple must have firm conviction and the will to take the word. The requester for, for the word must be aware of the spiritual dimension of the Hatmiya Maulaya Shah Ahmad Tijani, of the origin of the Tarihatijaniya and of the exclusive spiritual power of the Salatul Fatiha as vivified light by the Lord to his beloved Prophet Sayyidi Ahmed peace be upon him. Second, the disciple must free himself from any prayer or zikr previously taken via Avatariha. The Tijaniya word does not mix with any other zikr from a Sufi master who is not a recognized member of the Tarihatijaniya. No matter the benefits claimed for this dikr, because doing so is synonymous to mixing sparkling celestial diamond with rusty iron, and in addition leads to the forfeiture of the disciple of the path. Nevertheless, whoever would like to perform the zik of a divine name or other formula authorized by the Tariha must seek the advice and the authorization of a mystical master in the Tariha. Third, the disciple must choose a Muhadam who have been elected in the rules of art and in the absence of certainty, validity of his ijaz, choose a Muhadam with the high moral and Islamic qualities and especially a Muhadam who practices zikr in assembly. The word is not given to someone who does not hold a rosary. This rosary must be of the same type as the one used for the lazim, which means having a number of hundred pearls. Maulaya Shah Ahmad Tijani never goes to hide words without his two rosaries of light. Fifth, a minor child who wants to take the word must first Ask his parents for their permission before taking the word. 6. The married woman will have to ask her husband for permission to take the word. And once the word has been attributed, she will in no case abandon it, even if her husband changes his mind later. 7. The requester must be in a state of ritual purity. Ritual purity is essential in the Tariha because Maulaya Shah Ahmad Tijani strongly recommended to the disciples to be in a state of purity at all times. He even exhorted to pray two rakas before going to bed. But it was purity by ablutions that interested him. Eighth, the word is not given to someone who cannot wake up at dawn. Ninth, we do not give word to a mentally deficient person. Similarly to the Sharia jurisdiction, nothing falls on the mentally deficient as an Islamic obligation until he regains his senses. Thanks. The word is not given to someone who does not dress in clean clothes. The Tarihatijaniya is the embodiment of light and purity. Maulaya Shah Ahmad Tijani said that the word should not be given to someone who is not clean. 
Because of the flower of the Tijani path composes with the Prophet, peace be upon him, and that ladder never approaches impurity. The word should not be given to an absent person. Anyone wishing to take the word must be physically present in front of the Muhaddam or Caliph who holds the authorization. The widespread practice in these modern times of giving word via the internet and social networks is banned by Maulaya Shah Ahmad Tijani. We must neither make propaganda for the Tariha nor facilitate things for those who want to take the word. Twelve, the word should not be attributed to a smoker. The dhikr of the Tariha does not mix with tobacco. Maulaya Shah Ahmad Tijani formally prohibited it. Maulaya Sidi Muhammad al Shah reveals in this regard the danger that awaits smoker in the grave. Angels, he says, do not brave the mouth smell of a deceased smoker. Whenever he wants to open his mouth to response, Munkir and Nakir will hit him. 13. Respect Islam's foundations. The Muslim who does not pray, fast, and fulfill the other foundations of Islam in the prescribed rules is not and will never be a follower of the Tiriha Tijaniya. For this, the disciple must commit to practice the Lutani until death. Anyone who reaches out to benefit from the Tariha affiliation refers to the verse. Those who swear allegiance to you only swear off to Allah, God's hands is above their hand. Surah 48, verse 10. Therefore, whoever takes the word and then voluntarily abandons it breaks the oath of allegiance with Maulaya Shah Ahmad Tijani. It was the same oath that linked him to the Prophet and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is why Maulaya Shah Ahmad Tijani clarified that whoever takes our word and then abandon it, his destiny will be how. However, those who neglect the by ignorance or negligence have one less chance to renew their membership. Sayyidi Muhammad al Shah continued to speak on the condition of the Tariha before concluding with the Dua. <laughs> The green scarf that covers his head and shoulders is the same green turban he wore around his head during the 2019 pilgrimage to Mecca. Sayyidi Muhammad al Sheikh is an exemplary guide. He is the representative of the Prophet by virtue of his behaviors and even according to his dimension because he is today the Khalif of Mawlana Shah Ahmad Tijani fi Nur al azam in his highest lights. He therefore represents at the same time Sidi Ahmed and Mawlana Shah Ahmad Tijani Sharif. Hence his simplicity of mixing with his disciples. Hence his simplicity of welcoming people because Medina Sheikh is a place of welcome, a place of teranga as the Senegalese say. So approaching him, discussing with him, communicating with him are moments of spiritual intensity because 
You know that in the spiritual journey, a guide in the Khalif of Mawlana Shah Ahmed Tijani gives off lights that are operational at the level of the soul of the disciples. So the fact of greeting and frequenting him with respect allows the disciple to drink of light. So Sayyidi Muhammad al Shah, being a Khalif of Sheikh Tijani, always emits lights which are beneficial for the soul of the disciples. Imam Mahdi, Imam Mahdi, Imam Mahdi, Imam Mahdi, where are you, our Imam? Where are you, our Savior? Where are you, our Imam? Where are you, our Savior? Imam Mahdi, Imam Mahdi, Imam Mahdi, Imam Mahdi. You are our hub, and we know you are around. Imam Mahdi, Imam Mahdi, Imam Mahdi, Imam Mahdi. You are our hub, and we know you are around. We know that time is close, and we know you are with us, Imam Mahdi, Imam Mahdi, Imam Mahdi, Imam Mahdi. Where are you, our Imam? His face is reassuring, regent and it brings tranquility to all those who approach it. Are you our savior, Imam Mahdi, Imam Mahdi? Sayyidi Muhammad al Shah is a simple and very accessible man. A smile decorates his luminous face. He mixes with his disciples and there is no need for protocol to approach, greet and discuss with him. He is an exceptional character and very special. At the same time, for us, he is our spiritual guide. He is the Amirul Muminin, and yet, when we see him in his close environment, in his family, he is extraordinary symbol. He is accessible. When you look at him in conferences, you will think he is not approachable. But when you come at Medina Sheikh, his fifth, you will see how accessible he is. He is easy to approach. We have no difficulty to meet or greet him. He is very open-minded. He really takes care of everyone. He deal and check if everyone comfortable. The Sheikh is always present and accessible. This behavior fascinates me a lot. Ya Rabbana aghfir zambana Medina Sheikh is also an open-air university. Disciples of all age groups often sit in a circle around Sayyidi Muhammad al Shah, who dispenses new knowledge never heard before. The holy man answers all the questions that his disciples ask him. His knowledge is immense, and each question asked has its own answer. Besides, Sayyidi Muhammad al Shah one day said this. I am the answer to your questions. A sentence that says a lot about the huge knowledge of the holy man. Here in Medina Sheikh, we portray what we call Islamic Orthodoxy. A disciple affiliated with Sidi Muhammad al Sheikh respects the five prayers, fast during the month of Ramadan, 
must go to Mecca if he has the financial means, must give zakat. If he joins the tariqah, tijaniyah, he must do his lazim two hours before the morning prayer. He must do the evening lazim and the wazifa after the maghrib prayer. He must attend the hadarat of Jum'ah every evening. Sidi Muhammad al-Sheikh inculcated in his disciples an orthodox practice of Islam in the Tariqah Tijaniyah. So Medina Sheikh is our creed. Medina Sheikh is our spiritual city. In Senegal, there are people who are affiliated with spiritual homes like Tiwawan, Medina Bay or Medina Gunas, but there is also Medina Sheikh. The disciple of Sidi Muhammad al Sheikh is affiliated to Medina Sheikh, where all the orthodoxy of the Islamic religious practice and the Tariqah Tijaniyah are conveyed. We Senegalese are lucky to have a spiritual guide like Sidi Muhammad al Sheikh, who broke the myth that embodied certain religious guides. Sidi Muhammad al Sheikh made the difference between the concept of religious guide and the concept of spiritual guide and also the concept of a religious family and the concept of spiritual family. At Medina Sheikh, it is the principle of a family of light, of a spiritual family. We are Tijani disciples and we have a spiritual guide and not a religious guide. <laughs> Yeah.
The Maulud celebrated here in Medina Shah has a particular stamp. It takes place over three days or three nights. First, we celebrate the night of Qatmir, which is the gateway to the Prophet, وسلم, who is Mawlana Shah Mali Tijani. So that's the first one. This is a particular stamp because in the principles of the Tijaniya, one cannot have access to the Prophet ﷺ without going through his Qadmiyah, which is Mawlana Shahmari Tijani. 
So it's the same principle that has been repeated here. Before celebrating the night of Mawlud reserved for the Prophet Sidi Ahmed, you first must celebrate the night of the Access Gateway, who is Mawlana Shah Mutijani. So we celebrate what we call the night of Mawlana Shah Mutijani. The next day there is a symposium where scholars in Islam, Sharia, Haqiqa, who have a formation of Medina Sheikh, come to expose very interesting and very spiritually rich subjects. And on the third day, we celebrate the night of the Prophet. Hence, it is a particular stamp that is only done in Medina Shah. So three days, including one to celebrate Mawlana Shah Meditijani Sharif, a day of symposium to spread the sciences acquired by the disciples of Sayyidi Muhammad al Shah, who have a very high level of spiritual training, and a third night to celebrate the night of the Prophet Sallallahu Imam Mahdi, Imam Mahdi, Imam Mahdi, Imam Mahdi. Where are you, our Imam? Where are you, our Savior? Where are you, our Imam? Where are you, our Savior? Imam Mahdi, Imam Mahdi, Imam Mahdi, Imam Mahdi. You are our hub, and we know you are around. Imam Mahdi, Imam Mahdi, Imam Mahdi, Imam Mahdi. You are our hub, and we know you are around. We know that time is close, and we know you are with us. Where are you? Our Imam, where are you, our Savior? Where are you, our Imam? Where are you, our Savior?